Forge. <laughs> I'll ride anyone but that one. Honestly, like, Forge is pretty chill. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see who's riding who once we get down here. <laughs> yeah, it might get interesting. So this is the track. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. What do you think, Lee? Should I ride this horse or should I make Christy do it? Okay. He's like, I'm gonna stay on the outside. And I'm like, what if I just whip you so bad you can't catch me and we're just running well, in circles? He's on the inside. Need a ladder, Jesse? Huh? You need a ladder? You got right on here! I'll do my best. You'll be fine. All right, so we're here at Robert Esqueda's place in Amarillo, Texas, and uh, he's got a track in his backyard. He trains quarter horse race horses, and he was kind enough to let us come out and work our horses and just have a good time. Jessie's obviously come back to see me. She still loves me. We never get Jessie down here. It's the first time I've seen her in two years, so. Forge hasn't been on the track since July, and she's never been on the track, and he's just old and doesn't care, but we'll see. We're here to have fun, so no pressure. Hope we have fun. Yeah, hope That's we have fun. Hope. Jessie thinks gonna she's going to die. Gonna say you know what? She's on those horses because she's that good. <laughs> I'll just ride the cycle. Cool. Ready to <laughs> we're going to, this next lap, we're going to go down and we'll come sprint down. I felt like I was running full speed like this. Like, I'm like, what are you, where are you going? That well, was last week, like, didn't even stand a chance. I was just like, okay. Did Look at her wanna... shaking. She's like, oh, oh my God, that was so scary. Dude, <laughs> that was great. I always love having Jessie out to help work the horses. She is so amazing at what she does, and we had a blast racing. That was so much fun. But of course, the main reason Jessie is out here is to get a whitetail. We've been prepping all season for this, checking the trail cameras, keeping the feeders full, and scouting our lease. So first thing tomorrow, we'll head out and spend the weekend on a hunt for a buck. The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Proas. By women, for women. I am Proas. Gunworks, a thousand yards out of the box. Buck Knives. Trijicon Optics. Zamberlin Footwear. Rockman Gear. Tough Country. American values forged in steel. Reveal Cellular Camera. B&W Trailer Hitches. And by Black Series Campers. To download our theme song, go to themostwantedlist.com and be sure to check out our swag and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, we are um, up at our lease in Texas. 
um, somewhere in Texas in the Panhandle. In an undisclosed location. Where Jesse's eye froze on that buck, if oh, you remember. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, I don't, listen. We're going to have a flashback. Hang on, no, listen. I knew we were going to have to talk about this, and I don't want to because I don't want to think about it. Shoot him. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys, literally, my eyeball wouldn't close. It's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> you know, like, when you, like, you know, no, like, it could happen again, and I don't want to even think about it. We're going to so. make up for it. Yeah. I'm going to let you look at yeah. the Thank scope. You. Thank you. Like exactly. So, Jesse, you're going to get a deer if we see one, all right? OK. 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 So Jordan's going to stay back with Tillman and Tinley in the trailer. She, we brought the Black Series out so she could stay warm and uh, feed the kids and stuff like that and help us. So we're going to get out before it's too late. Whoa, four deer right in front of us. Oh, right there. Right there. They just ran off and four white tail. I saw. They were all does. Oh, they were? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what's the plan then? If Do we need to move? We really just need to sit and try to find something. It's so windy, it's hard to hold the spine upstairs. All right, well, the wind really stinks and it's not favorable for us and where we want to sit for hunting, so. Side. The wind's kind of out of the northwest. It's really not good for the way we have some of our feeders set up. I'm gonna go cruise around on the, on the speeders. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, that's the plan. Let's go. Yeah. Well, actually not we. I decided it was too windy to go sit out in glass because my binos were moving and it was freezing. And we might blow out everything that tries to go to the blind because our wind is going right to the theater. But we're gonna go up in the blind and at least we can see and not be freezing cold and in the wind the whole time. So I don't know. It kind of stinks when the wind sucks so bad. But we'll go see if we can find something. Looks like a bunker. Well, can you see out anything else that window? Anything over there? No. Where are the deer, honey? Where would you be? In a blind. <laughs> if I was Actually, there, if I was a deer, I would live in here and I would cover that. No, because then you couldn't maybe hear or see someone coming. The hunters would never be able to shoot. By the time they got to the blind, you could jump out and jump in the, and they wouldn't even be ready. Yeah, but you'd be in a hurry and you'd bonk your head on the way out when you went to jump. <laughs> We're in Texas, uh, in the Panhandle, in the desolate, freezing, insane yeah, insane asylum type bunker, and uh, we've been glassing this area for a couple hours now. We only have a couple hours left to daylight. The wind is going crazy, so I imagine they're all bedded down, and um, we're just kind of waiting them out and hoping that we see something before dark. I just saw movement. 
Do you see it? No, I just, I literally just looked down and just saw something run to the left, and I don't know what it was. It's a buck. Shh. It's a shooter. It's the buck. Is that on? Yep, it's him. Hold on, he's looking around. Jesse, yeah, get on the gun. He's pretty nice. I would shoot him in a heartbeat. He's 309 yards. So three quarter. Ready? Wait till he stops and gets broadside. If he stops. Shoot him. 308. Reload. You got him, but reload. Get on him. He's, He's low back. Shoot him again. He's to the right. Shoot if you can. Hi. That was high. I heard it hit. Did you? Oh, I think you did hit it again. It's, it he's got, moving. Oh, he's running. He's about to go in the bottom. You can see his rack in the grass, and that's it. He's down in the bottom. Can you still see him? Can't see him. I say we go after him and go shoot him. I say so, too. Let's do it. Where'd he go, Christy? Right over here. We're on that side over there. So I think he's in that drop, babe. I'm pretty sure he's like right there. There he is. Right there, right there. Do you see him? I think he went further left. Go with him. some blood. Jesse's on the trail. We're just trying to find this buck. There's his tracks right here. I think I know. There's some blood right here. Alright, well, Jesse shot a buck. Um, she hit him good. We don't know. I mean, he didn't go down but it was really hard to tell. He was not moving very fast. Um, we got on some blood, some of it's bubbly, so pretty sure she got a lung shot. Um, he was holding up his left leg, so she must have got something pretty good. He's bleeding pretty good. When we got down, we kind of saw where he was, and he took off running, but hopefully they'll get on him and they can get him down, so we'll see. Well, um, we just got back to the camper. Um, the kids are good. Jordan's been holding down the fort, <laughs> playing go fish with the kids, and um, followed some blood for a little while. and A long uh, while. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were pools everywhere. We kept expecting to walk around the corner and find him, and um, he did cross onto the neighbor's property. So we called and we asked for, asked for permission to come back out and find him tomorrow. Hopefully, if we just leave him alone, he'll kind of lay down and peacefully go, and we can get him tomorrow. Yeah. That's the plan. The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Can-Am, Off-Road Living, Baku E-Bikes, Elevate Your Game, Furman Generators, Rely on the Unexpected, Wiley X, Premium Performance Protection for Work, for Play, for Life.
Record Rack. Serious nutrition, serious results. Pyro Putty. We get you lit. Mountain Ops. Energy and performance nutrition. KC Highlights. Adventure further. Phone Scope. The future of digiscoping. Mana Pro. Nurturing life. And by Grunt Style. Well, we are back here in the Panhandle um, at our lease, and uh, we actually asked the neighbors and got a hold of them um, and to see if we could go find the deer on their property. And we, so we have basically all surrounding properties permission to go find the buck. So hopefully he's dead. Hopefully we don't just have a blood trail and lose him. So I'm excited. We're gonna go see if we can go find him. So wish us luck. It's pretty obvious, last place that we saw the blood, so that's cool. Yeah, we had so much blood. We'll see. There's a trail. I thought that's where we stopped looking. First uh, track, so. Oh, yeah. There's some right here. There's more. More right there? Yeah. Over this way, babe, she said. Here's more tracks. Here's more blood. It looks like he might have walked around a bunch right here. This is about where we heard him. He might have been, yeah, laying there where it stopped and then went this way. Look at all this. And then right here too. I honestly, with how much we saw, I thought that we would have ran into him by now. We've been literally tracking it for, from since like way over there. I'm pretty sure that's where we were looking at the binoculars. I think you're right, yeah. Okay, well, I just got curious and just decided maybe it was a gut feeling, I don't know. But I peered over the edge and saw some shiny sticks in a yucca bush and threw up the glass and it ended up being Jesse's buck. So we found him, he's pretty far away. We're gonna hike back over here, hop in the Can-Am, come out of our property and kind of circle around and see if we can't find a good way in here because he's at least a mile and a half in and I would really like to not pack him out. Oh, I see him. Yep. There he is. Good boy. Good boy. Jesse's got a deer. Crazy. Good job. Thank you. He's good boy. Yeah. I can't believe you found him. Me either. When we started running out of blood, I was getting a little bit losing hope, I guess. And then Lee said that he was right, just about ready to give up. And then he saw his antlers, and so we got him. And I guess that's what matters. And we have a crazy story. I've never, I've, you know, I've never had to track one before, so it was a crazy experience. And can't say I want to do it again, but it was really cool. <laughs> so I'm super excited. I was about ready to give up hope. I couldn't be happier. He's super cool, and. Um, I really was starting to doubt that we were going to find him at all, so nice surprise. There, there. You want me to keep holding it? No, you're good. Are you done? Okay. I'll Almost. keep holding it. I can be a baby and hold it. <laughs> 
And it's really gross, but like I have this thing where when I see something nasty, I imagine what it would like be like in my mouth. <laughs> We're somewhere in the panhandle in Amarillo, and uh, <laughs> that sounds so stupid. You're not Is in Amarillo. Joke? We're an hour from Amarillo. Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm rusty.